Oh. My hair is out here growing. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to a new vlog. So last week I posted my first vlog in two or three months. Concerning. That's what that is. Concerning. But what you don't know or what you know now is last week's vlog was literally from March. Like all the footage was from March. Because <laughs> April was the most hectic like hectic month of my life. Like I turned 30. I had so many visitors in Rome for the first time. It was so great. It was honestly so, so great, but like just hectic in every which way possible. And I was genuinely just so upset for, with myself for not like vlogging and posting consistently, etc, etc. And then I just drew a line in the sand. I drew a line under it. I said, what's done is done. We just, we have to move forward now, right? So now we're vlogging real time. Today's Saturday. This video is going up tomorrow, which is Sunday. My parents are visiting Rome. We, they arrived yesterday evening, we went out for dinner and drinks, they met some of my friends in Italy, we had drinks, we were in Trastevere, it was beautiful. Did I vlog? No. Today I'm gonna do like a day in my life taking tourists around Rome kind of thing. They've been to Rome before so it's not their first time, but I'm just gonna show you what we get up to today. It was supposed to be a beautiful blue sky sunshine day, but it's not that, so it's still warm, etc. So the outfit of the day, I think, is just this black tank top and blue jeans. Simple yet effective. I'm currently ice rolling my face because I woke up and it was so puffy. Why, you ask? Because I had alcohol. And that's my dad. I had alcohol last night, so. My parents are arriving now. I'll show them my apartment and then we're gonna go on our little day of Rome. I'm gonna show you what food we get, where I take them, and, and yeah, just have a casual, strolling day in Rome. Nothing too intense, nothing too hectic. Just walking around, seeing the sights. And yeah, okay. Oh, this is so relaxing. So relaxing. My eyes were so puffy. One thing I tell everyone before they come to Rome is bring comfortable shoes to walk in. And my mom's shoes are uncomfortable, so this is where we are. First stop of the day. So we have crossed the River Tiber from Trastevere, and now we're walking in towards the city. We're gonna go to Piazza Navona. We're gonna go to the Pantheon. We're gonna go to uh, the Trevi. We came into a gelato place. Dad got tiramisu and pistachio. Usually you go to the gelato places that keep it like in a dome thing, but this is good too. And then they have loads of tiramisu as well. It's called Gunther. So we'll see if it's nice. I'll just taste the pistachio, it's good. Now we're in the Campo di Fiori market. My mom is looking at all these spices. They're like spices for cacao e pepe, um, amentriana, pastas, bruschettas, everything. And this is the market, so they have it like it's a big food market. They have fresh juices, all the dried fruits, limoncello, everything like that. So we're in Campo de Fiori is what this is called. It's like a little square. And then we're going to Piazza Navona. What are you getting? You know the virus. I love this kind of thing. I know you do. Go back and where I was. Yeah. So mom's getting balsamic vinegar in a box. I think it's like 25 years old or something. They want a picture next to the car. We just came off uh, Campo de Fiori and now we're walking to Piazza Navona. She wants, I thought she wanted to be in the picture, but she wants to take the picture. He's delighted with himself. Happy out with themselves now there. We're in Piazza Navona. Stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. So we're in Piazza Navona. We went to Pizzeria Navona, 
This was, it's nice, it's simple, it's not like the best Italian food you're gonna have, but it's in the square and the sun is shining and you have like a view of the whole square. So we just got bruschetta, portion of fries, water, two drinks and it was 40 euro. So not extortionate, um, not the best Italian food you're ever gonna have in your life, but it is a really nice, it's like right on the corner. So it's the last one as you're walking up. There's so many different bars, but you can just sit and have, um, have a drink. Don't forget to wear SPF 50. They just had to go to a pharmacy in the center to get some because dad forgot to put on his face and now mom is babying him. So that's the Pantheon there. That fountain is usually, you can stand up there and look at the Pantheon, but they're obviously doing construction, like loads of room right now, because next year is the Jubilee. So this is the square where the Pantheon is, but it's actually closed today. Why? We don't know. And then there's all the construction, so not pretty. If you come to Rome between now and November, when you come into the square where the Pantheon is, it's gonna look like this. So they're obviously doing construction on the fountain, but from the 22nd of April, 2024, which is my 30th birthday, until November, allegedly, and probably longer, the square is gonna look like this. Like, so all those lovely restaurants that used to always have a lovely view of the Pantheon, uh, now the view looks like this, which isn't cute. But this is a lot of Rome right now because they're preparing for the Jubilee next year. So just be warned, if you're thinking of booking a trip to Rome, this year is going to be construction. Next year is going to be the Jubilee. So maybe 2026. If you come to Rome and you're near the Pantheon, this is where you come. This is Ricardo's go-to place on a Sunday. So you get the Apari pizza, which is drink of your choice. And they do a pizza serving board and it is random selection so you kind of gotta get where you're, get what you're given um but yes this is it so any drink and pizza serving board for 10 euro and it's right here if you go down that street it's to the pantheon and it's so nice because there's usually performers and everything here so you literally just sit here outside and people watch all of the tourists but yeah don't say I didn't tell you. It's amazing. They make literally fresh pizza all day. I'll show you in a minute. I sent him a picture and he said, Cheers. When in Rome, you drink a rolls This is the inside of Mater, so they literally make fresh pizza all day and then you just get a random selection. Still tour guiding. Next stop is the Trevi Fountain. Just waiting. They're coming. This place up here, Giolatti, is one of the most famous ones I've definitely seen on TikTok. I've actually never tried it. I don't know if it's good, but I do know that there's always a queue. Now we are in the famous Via del Corso, a Uniqlo literally just opened this is it we're on the way to the trevi but yeah via del course was this street that goes left and right and there's loads of shopping there's mango there's a hamley's toy store that just opened uniqlo apparently there's constantly queues and i can actually see the queue from here because it only opened in rome maybe a month ago and it's a flagship store this is the trevi at like five o'clock on a saturday can't even move, there are so many people. So what you want to do is you find the gap and you squeeze in and you just keep going. We're in Hotel de la Ville and allegedly this is one of the best sunset rooftop bars in Rome. So we're literally in like a waiting area now, like you don't reserve nothing. You go and you wait in this waiting area and it, the wait was only 30 minutes allegedly and the couple ahead of us were only waiting 20 minutes so it was fine so we're waiting here now and i'll show you when we go up we're on the way so we waited about 30 minutes and this hotel is stunning beautiful gorgeous amazing 
And now we're going to the rooftop bar for a sunset. Probably goes like you're welcome. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Wow, this is insane. This is insane views of Rome. That's the wedding cake building. Colosseum's over there somewhere. Pretty. Ooh, and the menu looks cool. And you didn't listen to me. Yeah. It is the second full day that my parents are here. So I vlogged as much as possible yesterday. So I will be doing the same again today. We, they went to the market this morning, the Porto Portesi market, then they had a coffee. I met them with Ricardo. And now we are going, I think we're gonna head into Trastevere again and just go around the center. Yesterday we did the Trevi Fountain, we did the Pantheon, even though it was closed. We did Piazza Navona, we did the Spanish Steps, we watched Sunset, like it was beautiful. And today we have dinner reservations in Pataka, da Meo Pataka, which is like, I'll show you that later, at half seven. And now it is 1.45. So I think the plan of action is we're gonna go to Trastevere now, maybe go to Trapezino, sit there, chill, have a drink, have food. Then go into the center. I want to take my dad to Mr. 100 Tiramisu, which is like 100 different flavors of tiramisu because he loves tiramisu. Um, we might go to the Colosseum just to look at it. To be honest, I think the Colosseum is nicer to see at nighttime, but we have dinner reservations. So we're gonna do all that and then have our dinner reservations. But I'll take you along the day with me anyway. My phone's on like 50%, which is not good. It should be on 100. And I will check in with you later. But yeah, being a tour guide, we're slaying 20,000 steps yesterday and about to do another 20,000 today, baby. Okay. Thank you. Are you happy? We came to Trapezino. We got two suppli, the classic one and the suppli of the day, which is mortadella and uh, I can't remember what else. Oh, pasta or something. And then we got the Trapezino. So I got the meatball. Mom and dad got the special, which was cream cheese burrata and Philadelphia and eggplant and then a chicken one. Stunning. <laughs> Trasevere on a Sunday. Top tip if you're in the city center of Rome, chance a bougie hotel and ask them where the bathroom is. Don't say, can I use the bathroom? Say, where is the bathroom? You'll get in every time. You'll be able to pee. It's nice, it's clean. <laughs> Cause some of the bathroom, like the McDonald's bathroom in the center, no. Just chance a hotel, walk in, say, excuse me, where's the bathroom? They don't know if you're staying here or not. They're not gonna ask if you say, where's the bathroom? They're gonna let you go. Confidence, key. In the queue for Mr. 100 Tiramisu. There's 100 different flavors of tiramisu. So we're in Mr. 100 Tiramisu, but we made the mistake of queuing in the takeaway queue for ages, but there's actually two queues. So that way is takeaway, and then that way is sit down. So we got a seat anyway. Mm. Is that nice? You have a video. I will take a picture. No, I have a video. I'll take a picture. Is it nice? Absolutely. Is it nice? Absolutely. And we're back in Piazza Navona. It's actually a lot less quiet than yesterday down this end, but that end is pretty busy. So we're here for a while and then we're making our way back to Trastevere. Yeah, so day three of being a tour, guys. Um, we're in the center now. We have dinner reservations at half seven. It's now like half five. So I'm aiming to walk back to Trastevere at about six o'clock so that we get to our dinner reservation on time. This is the thing about Rome, especially in the summer. If you're here on a weekend, 
of course you don't have to make dinner reservations you could just walk in anywhere but there's if there's somewhere specific that you want to eat you'll either have to queue or you'll have to make a reservation if they don't take reservations you'll have to queue if you don't want to queue you have to make a reservation and that's how it works baby and dinner at Dameo Pataka in Trastevere <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.